In San Joseph Hospital in Jerusalem Al-Quds, Palestinians gathered this morning to see Ahmed and Zahir for the last time before the hospital sends them back to its borders, then to Gaza to their families to bury them. Ahmed Bakr, 19 years old, and Zahir al Najjar, 6 years old, were sent to Jerusalem Al-Quds after suffering brain injuries in an Israeli attack on Gaza. As soon as we heard the news, the Palestinian people uh, from Jerusalem, they came into the hospital to send a clear message to the Israeli occupation that we are one nation. The Red Cross, Red Crescent, and other international organizations facilitates this transfer to Gaza injuries to be sent to hospitals in Jerusalem Al-Quds. We have 25 cases. It's all kind of uh, injuries, blast injuries, burns, fractures, bullets, uh, brain injuries, chest injuries. And uh, we have another two cases, unfortunately, with, uh, with brain uh, clinical death, actually, with severe brain damage, with penetrating wounds to the brains. And uh, most of them are uh, a below 40 years old and the majority is below 15 I would say. This is how the farewell of the Gaza murders in Jerusalem Al-Quds looked like. Palestinians were chanting for more Qassam rockets to be fired and asking for revenge. At the end, protesters prayed on them before the ambulances took them back to Gaza. Jerusalem Al-Quds said goodbye to two Palestinian murders that died in this hospital after the attack on Gaza, and there are many cases that have clinical death. So would Jerusalem be even more sad? From Occupy Jerusalem Al-Quds, Sabrina Taha, Press TV.